today's episode, we're in Ashtabula, Ohio to explore an abandoned power plant adorned with beautiful Art Deco details. The Ashtabula Generating Station first came online in 1930 and was the third major power plant of the Cleveland Electric Illuminating Company. The plant provided electricity to the people and industries of Northeast Ohio for 85 years before shutting down for good in 2015. In the time following, it has sat quietly on the shore of Lake Erie, slowly being consumed by the surrounding brush. Now, join us as we venture inside to discover what's left. This portion of today's video is sponsored by Babbel. Do you want to learn a new language? Babbel can help you speak with confidence, nail pronunciation, and have real-world conversations. Babbel is one of the top language learning apps in the world. Its intuitive lessons help you learn a language through real-life conversations. I decided to start learning German in 2024 since I really enjoyed visiting Germany a few years ago. However, in a small town, a woman at a restaurant couldn't take our order because we didn't know how to ask for an item. I would like to return and hopefully having more knowledge of the language would make things go smoother. Babbel is proven to help you start speaking a new language in as little as three weeks and has a 20 day money back guarantee. The lessons prepare you to have practical conversations about travel, business, relationships, and more. Learning something new is hard, especially a new language, but Babbel's got your back. Get 60% off your subscription with the link in the description and start learning a new language today. What goes on in these four illuminating company power plants, Lakeshore, Avon, Ashtabula, and East Lake? is a reflection of your life, Bob, and the lives of all of us who live in Northeast Ohio. Got some security geese up ahead. The alarm's going off. <laughs> You've been spotted by security. Looks like we're in the boilers now. This is incredible. Just look at 
some of this detail here. And there's detail work like that all throughout. These four generators were part of Ashtabula's original construction dating back to 1930. Manufactured by General Electric and capable of producing 50 megawatts each, they were the latest and greatest of their time. Almost instantly, the heat turns the purified water in the boiler tubes into steam, which is directed against the blades of a turbine at tremendous pressure. So in the turbine room, steam becomes mechanical energy, turning the shaft of this giant turbine at 60 revolutions per second, 3,600 per minute. Turbine and generator are whirling on the same shaft. Thus, mechanical energy is converted into electric energy by the generator. There's a big, more modern turbine here, but we don't really care about that one. We're here for this. Those control panels on the wall look really nice. This is definitely my favorite turbine hall yeah. I've ever seen. Like beats, uh, real beats words that you can't say <laughs> on video. <laughs> yeah. All the ornate details everywhere. Yeah. It's like even in the condenser pit, yeah. they put these little details. All those lights usually are gone. You think? Have you seen photos with them on before? No. Looks a little flooded down there. Yeah, maybe a six inch. There's like a subtle wave in the uh, the railing posts. It kind of has like a nautical sailing feel to it. And we are right on the lake. The details, the details are so incredible. This turbine hall is so unmolested. Like, it hasn't been modernized in some shitty way. Yeah. There's not that much junk sitting around junking it up. This is as good as it gets for turbine halls. This control panel has most of the dials removed, but there's some down there that are more intact. Boilers are really dark. I just beeped. You kidding? I swear. I heard it beep too. I swear. I heard it. I <laughs> did it again. It probably just keeps beeping. <laughs> oh. So the intercom probably works. Yeah. This is not even a control panel, really. It's more of just an indicator panel. There's buttons on the side. There are buttons? Uh, yeah.
temper charts for degrees Fahrenheit logged. Um, what are bananas doing right there? I don't even know. They're not even that old. That's the weird part. Looks like they're a week old. Maybe two weeks. Yeah. It has been pretty chilly, so it could have been, like, frozen. Not a bad view. All right, let's go back up on this plateau. Look at these glass the doors. There's like chandeliers and stuff in there. Yeah, the offices. Yeah. They look pretty ornate from the store. Did hear rumors of alarms being in this part of the building, so we're going to do save it last. That for last. Yeah, it looks very ornate in there. There is power on in here in some areas. This is the newer generator. So as you can see with this and turbine, you can see they just built this like any other yeah. power plant when they added this on. No bricks, no skylights. But you can see how with the newer turbines, they kind of concealed a lot of the machinery. Mm -hmm. It's just a it's big in like box. another extra layer of being boxed up. This fifth unit was commissioned in 1958 and was capable of generating more than all four of the original units combined. Check out the control room for the more modern unit. Yeah, I saw you sweeping it. Why is it so hazy in here? Because he sweeped it. Oh. Uh, wasn't all dusty. <laughs> all the computers are missing. Mostly computerized. Probably. It's all still turbine. on. Well, a lot of it's still on. Windows XP still moving around. Yeah. Touch that screen. You're not gonna do it? Administrator. <laughs> oh, you know what all this dust is? Someone blasted a fire extinguisher in here. Bailey meters. Yeah. Good old. Whole wall of them. It's Bailey meters, not Bailey's meters. Yeah. Don't confuse that. <laughs> this panel's the best for sure. I like the more horizontal panels that have all the buttons. And stuff is still lit up on it. I've never even played Solitaire before. Has oh, you know what this computer has? Window, Microsoft XP uh, pinball. This is why we come to this amazing power plant to play Hell pinball yeah. in the control room. Can you actually play it with this I input? I think you need a keyboard. Damn. Damn. It's a lot of white powdery insulation on the door. Yeah, it says non-asbestos on it though. That's good. You can
can see all the tubes that would feed the turbine. Carry the steam to it. And you can still see the yeah. same general shape as the old ones. It's just all enclosed. We've got the plaque for the boiler right here. Combustion Engineering Inc. Wow. Got some light rays coming in now. It's pretty nice. So we were playing with the intercom, and, well... Yes, so you need to come here, please. I wonder if it plays outside, too. I have it. You don't calling me. Yes. <laughs> It's the whole fucking place. Why? I bet it's outside too. We shouldn't do that again. It's we got outside. Ludo talking to us now. Like on the conveyors and stuff. I bet you, yeah. <laughs> Can't hear anything he's saying. He said, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> I swear to God, if we get kicked out of here because of this. Looks very ornate. Wow. Everything is marble. Yep, it is. It looks like this would be the entrance to a nice hotel or something. Like, <laughs> that, yeah. that welcoming. Kitchen, okay. There's an elevator here. It's a wide elevator. Very old looking. So, there's no power in here but this extension cord is running from somewhere just to power that. It's a little weird. Oh, we got a whole rig of power in here. It smells really bad over here. Yeah, let's just go up. There's probably rotting food in there. This is file room and just offices. Here's a bunch of keys. Oh, a key just labeled electric station. Probably like a substation. Look at the railing out front here. Look at this. General electric vibration displacement indicator. This thing's heavy too. It looks very old. Man, this elevator is so cool. Yeah. I wonder if we can find the car in the basement or something. Hmm. That looks like the manager's. <laughs> Wood paneling always makes me feel like it's a manager. Pretty plain offices. Yeah. What are those? Tokens. No cash value. Arcade tokens. 
there's uh, meters here to see how much power is being produced in the offices. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Five yeah, but this is a modern one. The other one were actually gauges. Unless we get any other top floor. What the heck? It says six floor cadaver lab control. Interesting. Cadaver lab. Why would that be here? Uh, this looks like a control room so far. Oh yeah, now that's a control room, and there's lights on. Oh wow, <laughs> it's lit. Wow. Huh, the this blue and white ones over there. Look at this whole round part over here. It's amazing. This was the main operating room where all five of the plant's units would be commanded. Various synchroscopes around the room would be used when bringing units online, ensuring that they're in phase with the grid at the all-important moment of connection. There's Christmas decorations. This is incredible. This panel looks really old. Yeah, these were for the original generators here. Number four, three, two, and one. I think there were different color bulbs. There's a couple slots. There's just one bulb. These are tinted. Yeah. Light up different status indicators. Yeah, this is definitely one of the oldest panels in here. This is cool over here. It's a cross section of the whole plant. That looks like the newer turbine. It's always pretty trippy to walk through the insides of the control panels. Not a bad place to chill. All right, time to move on. This is gonna be the basement area for the control room. All the relays go into here. Does this go down this way? Yeah, it does. You can hear it buzzing. This is right underneath the active one. This looks like all maintenance stuff over here. Oh look, look at the wall here. Old Deeper. switches. Yeah. This equipment is out of service. This is 2012. <laughs> 2012. I bet this would be really satisfying to turn mm -hmm. if it wasn't locked out. These are all switches too. Oh yeah. <laughs> These are cool looking. This 
looks so old. Yeah. Do the other hallways look the same? Exactly. Looks a little different here. Just a little wider. Yeah. These have stuff in them still. Oh, really? Wow. Yeah. So maybe it's they did use some of them. They might have used some of them. Yeah. Because these say stay on them, too. So they kept them here for a reason. Non PCB. Good. Oh, there's a door open over there. Goes outside. It's a danger, danger flag. flag. I like it. <laughs> the output for the newest generator just goes straight to a switch yard. This is one of the things that was behind those locked doors. Pretty sure it's just a really big switch. Yeah. It's just got like this lever mechanism here. Yeah. I would guess that this was an oil filled circuit breaker of some kind. Move on down. Okay. Keep door closed and locked at all times, and it's wide open. Yeah, little baby. Rochester Electric Products Core. Looks like a motor or something. I don't even know what these would do. The Lancer? Balancer. Hmm. Oh, all the copper. Yeah. And the huge fuses. Gloves, switching coats, and face shield must be worn when operating this switch gear. I'm sure, it's all bare connections. Yeah. Oh, here's the gloves and the face shield. Yeah. This wall is all switching equipment. These papers are from 2015. Wow. It's not that long ago. Yeah, this is a leak or something. It smells so bad right around here. Oh, there's a lot of stuff on in here. It's a key card. And it's flooded. This is probably not too safe. Oh, this locker room smells like shit, dude. It's like there's a sewage leak or something in there. There's shit on in here. This is gross. This is all water temperature monitoring stuff, which clearly it's failed. Yeah. But I was it's still on. This what extension do you think cable. Through that key card door. Here's an extension cable running it. And a key card door that's lit. Here's a server room. Uh, motion sensor, best for the door access. There's a camera right there, too. I know. But we've passed a ton of cameras already. Yeah. But this one's like right here near the turned on shit. Yeah. I would just, let's get out of here. So, the cameras might be recording. Really? Brian says he found something that means the cameras are recording. Yeah, there is a camera right in that There's a running too. security terminal in there. All right, show us the thing about the smell. Oh, okay. I turned the computer monitor on and nothing happened, so I don't know. Oh, this is so gross. What is it? You'll see. We probably should not hang out in here because can't be good to breathe this shit. The flood? 
Are those fish? Yeah. Oh. What the f Yeah. That's what this smell is. They are. They're fish. <laughs> Jesus Christ. They're frozen. Oh my God. Where does that door go to? I don't know. We're never gonna know. <laughs> we need to get the it looks so empty nice. from here. <laughs> oh, right, let's get out. Kids. Are they crashing? Wow. The light smashing stuff? Yeah. There's other kids in here. Sounds like they're smashing shit. Anyway. The lighting is pretty different now. It's way more backlit from that back window. Now we're entering the boiler house, where the steam that once spun the turbines was generated. The clean and elegant lines of the turbine hall stand in stark contrast to the complex array of piping and machinery to be found within this section of the plant. It's very blue. Probably asbestos. That was... <laughs> Who's that? I bet that's the kids. They're just screaming in it. Of course, we have to have kids around in here. The day we're here. Jesus Christ. I mean, we can't really say shit because we were f***ing around with the intercom just as much. Yeah. We weren't now, just screaming in it. Now it's annoying. Yeah. <laughs> Where are the stairs up? Holy shit. That goes up a lot. Oh, there's a lot of pipes in here. Jeez, man, every room in here looks so cool. This was the coal preparation area. In this room, coal would have been dropped down into pulverizers and turned into a fine powder before being sent on its way to the boilers. 20 tons of coal a minute ride this conveyor to the crushers. Finally, pulverized to the consistency of talcum powder, the coal is mixed with air and blown into the furnace through 16 burners, giving a whirling movement to the flame. And natural light's really nice. Damn, this is some beautiful light in here. Look at all the meters just open. A lot of it's stripped.
Should I close all these? So I could look better. At least close them as much as I can. Holy cow. This is a good boiler house. This is huge in here. You can see the conveyor. Yeah, the coal conveyor just goes through the boiler house. That's pretty unique. Wow. You can see out over the turbine hall here. The more modern part at least. In the newer section, of course, they didn't build a brick wall. Yeah, it's much less ornate here. Although some of the brickwork does continue. But that might have continued from something before, maybe. Yeah. It's clearly above it is just paneling. Well, there's brick behind that, actually. Yeah, nothing's going to compete with that turbine hall. That is just incredible. Let's go up here. Feels like I'm walking the plank. Wow. Those are some big steel beams. Clearly this one cross beam wasn't that necessary if they just cut it to put this coal conveyor Unless, in. Unless, yeah, it looks cut. Yeah. All the really long sight lines in here and the symmetry and repetition. It's just really nice. Very surreal, crazy place to wander around in. Man, I'm starting to feel rushed, and I hate that feeling. Maybe one day we can come back here. Look at, look at the plant growing down here. It's like a little tree. Well, it's dead because it's winter, but it's definitely growing in this little pile of dirt here. Who's there? Oh my gosh. What the fuck? <laughs> That's a long drop. very symmetrical. Wow. I just love the look of old steelwork with all the rivets in it. Mm -hmm. 
This one's not as nicely lit. The lighting is not as good. But There's these some pipes are cool. Old control panels just sitting around everywhere. Pretty these cool. are big pipes with splits everywhere. Stack. Oh look, these smokestacks were decapitated. Yep. So they probably stopped using them long before. Yeah. just coming through those back windows. I think it's about time to wrap it up. The sun is starting to set. Yeah. We've got I could have totally spent more time here, but it is what it is. Fortunately, Ashtabula Generating Station would be one of those locations that we were able to make it back to. Not just once or twice, but probably close to a dozen times over the course of a few years. Most of these visits were focused on photography, but a lot of time was also spent just soaking in the ambiance and discovering more hidden areas of the plant. We also captured most of the cinematic footage in this episode at a later date, hence why you may have noticed some things look different from shot to shot. In the control room, for instance, some friends and I spent a couple hours cleaning up after discovering vandals had turned it upside down. The silver lining was that it looked even more impressive afterwards than it had before the vandalism. Also of note was Ashtabula's sister plant, located on the opposite side of Cleveland, Avon Lake. This plant was constructed in a similar style just a few years earlier, and was essentially the basis for Ashtabula's design. The main differences were in the details. Avon Lake featured classical ornamentation, while Ashtabula leaned more heavily into Art Deco. Now, here comes the bad news you probably knew was coming. Both the Ashtabula and Avon Lake stations are currently being demolished by two different companies. There was at least some hope for saving part of Avon Lake when the redevelopers announced they would be saving the oldest portion of the turbine hall as the centerpiece of a mixed-use redevelopment. However, they've since cut back their plans to focus on just the apartments, and it doesn't appear that any portion of the turbine hall will be saved. As for Ashtabula, the plant has been under abatement and interior deconstruction for over a year now, but no official plans have been revealed. I would suspect that the plant is destined for the same ending as almost all of its contemporaries. Flattened without a trace. <laughs>